Thanks for watching. This video covers preventing infection and blood clots after a joint replacement. The nurse will go over specific instructions before you leave the hospital and general information is in the handbook. Preventing infection is really important. Hand washing is the best way to prevent an infection from spreading. So make sure everybody keeps their hands clean. It is also important to keep clean sheets on the bed, wear clean pajamas, and make sure pets stay off the bed while an incision is healing. All patients have a silver occlusive dressing covering their incision. It is designed to kill bacteria. The dressing typically comes off seven days after surgery. Specific instructions are in the paperwork to take home. Go ahead and shower with the dressing on. It's water resistant, so it can get wet as long as the edges are well stuck to the skin. Do not completely submerge the incision underwater, so no baths, pools, lakes, or hot tubs. If the dressing becomes loose or the tape starts peeling on the edges, remove the dressing. When water reaches the incision, the dressing is not working, so it's time to take it off. Cover the incision with gauze and paper tape from the local pharmacy if the incision is draining. Otherwise, leave the incision exposed. Don't apply any type of cream, lotion, or ointment on the incision. Shower as normal, rinse well, and pat dry. Talking about hygiene, a few reminders on dental health. Avoid routine visits to the dentist for at least six weeks following surgery. Call the dentist right away for mouth pain or if you suspect tooth infection. Most patients don't require antibiotics before dental work after a joint replacement. Your surgeon or your dentist will prescribe antibiotics if necessary. In addition to infections, the other potential risk following surgery is a blood clot. There are two ways to prevent clots, moving and medication. The goal is to move every hour or two while awake. A short walk to the bathroom or to the kitchen is enough. If you need motivation, set your oven timer as a reminder. Gradually increase the distance and use a walker or crutches until cleared by your surgeon. While sitting, do ankle pumps 10 times every hour. Avoid long car or plane rides for three to four weeks after surgery. If you do travel, step every one to two hours to move around or at least stand up. Some patients need to wear compression socks for several weeks to help avoid swelling and blood clots. If necessary, specific instructions and an extra pair of socks will be sent home with you. That covers movement. Now let's talk about medications to prevent blood clots. All patients will be on a blood thinner at home. For most patients, it will be aspirin, but some will need a prescription blood thinning medication. Aspirin after surgery is used as a blood thinner not for pain. So don't stop taking it when you stop taking prescription pain medications. Typically, aspirin is taken for four to six weeks after surgery, so you'll take it much longer than your pain medication. Don't take over-the-counter anti-inflammatories such as ibuprofen or Aleve while on your blood thinner. Only take anti-inflammatories prescribed by the surgeon. While on a blood thinner, don't take fish oils or herbal supplements because they will thin the blood beyond what the surgeon recommends. Finally, if you smoke, quit. Smoking increases your risk for developing an infection. Keep the guide to recovery in a handy location and refer to it often. Always call the surgeon first with any questions or concern related to joint replacement. Remember, the surgeon is your partner in care. Don't hesitate to call. When you call, the surgeon may recommend a visit to an orthopedic urgent care location, which is preferred over the ER because it is less expensive and limits exposure to germs. If an ER visit is necessary, don't forget to take the joint replacement card with you. If the situation is life-threatening, call 911. Please watch the other joint replacement videos for additional information. Recovery is a process. Be engaged and take care of yourself every step of the way.